start discovering ourselves and finding ourselves and we begin to look at places in our lives that need healing right and and you know, in changing that mindset and so with you uh, uh did you ever come to a place of discovering like that you do have trauma you're dealing with and i, I saw some of your trauma you talking about even just talking about not being able to get to mom's and, and pop's funeral right but they're there you know through the violence through the things you sit in prison and everything man uh, um, did you uh, did you suffer any trauma from that? And, and if so, when did you dis discover that, like, hey, man, I, I got some trauma in my life I need to deal with. I need to heal myself, get myself healed. I can say when I got out, when I came and talked to you and I told mm -hmm. you that it seemed like the twilight zone out here. Right. It was right. around that time, man. Mm -hmm. that I know I was dealing with some things and, and, and I, I put it in this phrase, uh, dealing with demons, you know what I mean? That's what we have. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I spoke to it about my lady, I spoke to my lady about it mm -hmm. and, you know, and a couple of people, a couple close people I know mm -hmm. about struggling with these different demons. And when I mm -hmm. said like that, I put it in that phrase, is because of some of the things I did in the past, some things that happened to me in the past, and, things that happened while I was away from my family. And mm -hmm. you know, all these struggles, man, you know, you can't even sleep at night sometimes, you know? That's right, man. So you, you have to reach out and talk to somebody. Amen, that's right. And get some guidance on dealing with them demons. And I know that a lot of the homies that done did some time, mm -hmm. they struggle with that and they might not even know what it is. Right. Exactly. Now you know. If you're listening to this podcast, now you know. Yeah. You're struggling with them demons from the past and mm -hmm. some from the present. Yeah. And yeah. you got to talk to somebody. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, Absolutely. and that's what helped me, you know, get to the next level. And I'm, you know, I'm not perfect. You know, yeah, God is still working on me. You know, I'm, right. I, I, I'm under the construction of Jesus Christ right now. Same here. And, <laughs> you know, I know that that old man can come back easy mm -hmm. if I allow myself to get in that lane. So yep. I try to stay out of that lane. Amen. Amen. And stay focused Amen. on the Lord is Amen. what I do. That was work for me. So now for another individual, he would have to find that somebody to you know confide in and find his maker mm -hmm. to keep him stable. Amen. You need that you know, support. Some brothers yeah. go to Allah and some Buddha and all yeah. these other different religions. Mm -hmm. But find something that works for you to help you stay stable, stable mind. And get because, healed. Because, yeah, yeah. Even on the natural side, they, be, you they be coming at you. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. real. Yeah, even on the natural side, man, I mean, you know, uh, spiritual, you know, most definitely if you hook up and you get hooked up to, to Jesus, you get into the church and get a pastor that understands that and, and knows how to minister to you on that can help you on the spiritual side and 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 with that knowledge that you have and start working on yourself you know you can really bring true healing to it right and even but even in in the world you know uh you have folks out there that's been trained uh to identify and deal with you know the trauma and 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 help you to on a natural way to get through it right you know i remember when um my my baby boy james uh, got well really a couple of kids got in some trouble right and um they carjacked somebody and uh hit the woman i think they robbed some folks or whatever they did and they were all he was in juvenile hall when they we let him out he's 12 years old when they finally let him out um we had to go through all these classes anger management class family therapy all these different things i didn't want i'm like why i gotta go through all this stuff because of you <laughs> that's what i'm saying to myself but um yeah. So I, I take her to to uh, therapy, right? Family therapy. It was, supposed to, it was supposed to be therapy. I thought it was supposed to be therapy for him. So I take him, I drop him off. I'm like, okay, here you go. And I told the lady, I, at the therapist, I said, I'll be, but what time you want me to come back and pick him up? <laughs> she said, wait a minute, hold up. I want to talk to you too. <laughs> so I went in there like, let me hurt him get this stuff over. But then, man, when you start getting in there, you really start going through it, it really starts helping you, right? And before I knew it, man, uh, she was, we were way past the date or he only post had to go through a couple of sessions. We went through a whole bunch of sessions. <laughs> and a lot of them was for me too, you know, and we went through a whole lot. And, and that helped on the natural side too, man. And and so, you know, what, like you said, and I, I agree with you 
there's so many resources out there so many ways so many ways you can tap into it you know i we we know it and and you know with god god takes you through a process and you you grow as you go right and i believe even when i just when that woman uh was telling me about the ptsd i believe that was all part of god's plan for me to discover like hey this is why you're struggling going with through, through what you're going through and then a few years later when my son got into trouble you know uh, same thing you know uh, uh uh sitting down with with this therapist for him but end up like enjoying it myself <laughs> you know even though he still didn't want to be there you know but i, I was like setting up more dates and more days we were way past the time so yeah get that support and get that help that you need for sure anything else yeah, I just want to add to what you were just saying. That's basically what I was speaking on earlier in the session about the things that we do affect others. Yes. You know, by him getting in trouble, because you guys have to go to yeah. meetings and take time out to do, you know, what you had to do to help get him through his process. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was talking about. Man. Exactly. When you start making these decisions, in bad decisions, it's going to affect everybody in the family. That's right. That's right. And a lot of times we don't think about that, and that should be the main thing. If you don't want to change for you, change for your family, change for your kids, change for your loved ones, your wife. You know, you got to make that. You got to make that that change in that mindset, man. That's it. That's it, man. That's it. Cock. And we call it a lot of people, and you don't yeah. you don't notice it while you're going through it. Yeah. And I'm glad that they have a lot of um, uh, different things that's happening today. You know, like with work that I do with mentoring youth, we deal we do CBT, which is cognitive behavioral therapy. And uh, uh, some of the things that you're talking about, that's what we deal with the young people about, right? We have them to look at like, so look at the, uh, the consequences of this, you know, who was impacted, the victim, think about the victim. What about your family? You know, what about you, the grief that you're dealing with, the guilt that you're dealing with, the depression that you're dealing with, or if you're dealing with any of that, like who, who else has it impacted? How has it cost you? What has it cost you? You know, folks, uh, if, if we really sit down to think about those things, and like you were saying, when we think about it from uh, uh, cognitively, uh, then we can look at it and, and say, you know what? make a decision like you said make a decision say you know what i don't want this i don't want my mom going through this right i don't want uh my my, my wife or my old lady going through this i don't i, I don't i'm sorry that I even hurt the victim you know i don't i don't want nobody to go through this like i told folks yeah i i, I have to tell them some of the light things i said you know i did a lot of burglary broke a lot of people's houses and stuff i said but then i had my houses broken into you know once i got in church and everything i saw how i felt right you know so sometimes people can't see how they're uh, hurting other people, right? You know, uh, because of their pain and their trauma and what they're dealing, they just being um, reckless in their, and negative in their thinking and in their actions, but, and they can't really see it because they're caught up in their own world. But if you can really sit them down and get them to think within, you know, that's where it comes to self change. You know, I agree with you, it's self change. They have- And also, I, also I'm add to this Bishop, mm -hmm is that you got to surround yourself too with positive people that you can talk to because i i happen to be blessed i had you mm -hmm. bishop bowser i mm -hmm. had uh brian clater mm -hmm. at uh, uh mount olive when i was going to church out there right. in san diego you know i had him to talk to mm -hmm. you know i had pastor shepherd mm -hmm. you know i had him and then when i got out here you know mm -hmm. walton smith and right. um uh, evergreen church baptist church and mm -hmm. and you know i kind of surround myself around positive people and i actually connected with pastors bishops and stuff like that and that's what worked for me right you know what i mean right. so if you surround yourself around some positive people you know you don't get a, a positive outcome on that and yeah, that kind of helped me out you know? amen amen hold yourself accountable that. to that hold yourself accountable to that and while i'm talking to everybody that's listening to us hold yourself accountable when you get wrap those people around you that support team uh hold yourself accountable those positive people hold yourself accountable to the feedback and what they give you let them hold you accountable right and then understand that if you have that 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 uh positive influence environment and support team around you understand that you're not by yourself right you you uh, all you got to do is reach out for help. You don't have to do this by yourself, right? And and like you said, Levert, that uh, brother Levert, that that there are some people that want to change, 
but uh, they're afraid of what their homie is going to think or how they're going to look. And, you know, everybody caught up on this uh, reputation. I'm trying to figure out, exactly. like, what you getting out of that? I mean, there's a retirement check. There's a mansion waiting for you somewhere. I mean, like, <laughs> what are you getting out of? What what you getting out of other than, like, oh, he's down, you know. He's the homie, you know. He's, he's a real. He's holding down you know? the set. He don't own nothing on the set. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not getting nothing out of it. So you better do what's best for you. They help you, right? Because at the end of the day, like you said, you know, what we believe, according to our faith tradition, is that you're going to have to face God one day. And when you face him, you want to see him in peace, you know, and not in his wrath and his anger. And the only way you got to do that, you got to make things right with God. And and God, when God, when you want to make it right with God, he makes you look at yourself, right? And so you can get things right within yourself and make a, a change, a change mind within your change your mind within yourself. Then he'll teach you how to get a new mind, a renewed mind. All right, man. I, I appreciate it, man. Good discussion. Uh, we'll right. post this up I on Facebook it. and on YouTube and so on and on our website, uh, this video uh, podcast. And um, 